Tanzania versus Uganda, which country is better? Welcome to this floor and things for watching. In this video, we shall be putting two neighboring East African countries, Tanzania and Uganda, against each other to see which one comes on top. Despite all the apparent similarities between both nations, there are many things that set these countries apart and make one better than the other. Hence, we shall be using these differences as a stencil of comparison. Many factors go into deciding which country is a better option, such as the primary aim of the trip and what you intend doing in either countries, but for the sake of this video, we shall use the demographic, socio-economic, and political scenes to crown a winner. But first, let us start with the demography and geography of both countries. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Geography At 947,303 km square, Tanzania is located on the eastern coast of Africa and has an Indian Ocean coastline approximately 1,424 km long, as well as several offshore islands like Zanzibar, Pemba, and Mafia. The country is the site of Africa's highest and lowest point, Mount Kilimanjaro, at 5,895 meters above sea level, and the floor lake of Tanganyika at 1,471 meters below sea level. Three of Africa's great lakes, Lake Victoria, Lake Tanganyika, and Lake Nyasa, are partly within Tanzania. Kalambo Falls in the southwestern region of Rukwa is the second highest uninterrupted waterfall in Africa after the Tugela Falls. The Menai Bay Conservation Area is Zanzibar's largest marine protected area. Annual temperature in Tanzania is 20 degrees Celsius, but climate change is impacting agriculture, water resources, health and energy in Tanzania. Uganda is located in South East Africa, which is geographically very diverse, consisting of volcanic hills, mountains, and lakes. Much of the south of the country is heavily influenced by one of the world's biggest lakes, Lake Victoria, which contains many islands. Most important cities are located in the south near this lake, including the capital Kampala and the nearby city of Entebbe. Although landlocked, besides Lake Victoria, Uganda contains many large lakes like Kyoga, Lake Albert, Lake Edward, and the smaller Lake George. Uganda has 60 protected areas, including 10 national parks, some of which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Uganda is also home to a vast number of species, including a population of mountain gorillas in the Mbwindi Impenetrable National Park. Gorillas and golden monkeys in the Mgahinga Gorilla National Park and hippos in the Murchison Falls National Park. Uganda has a warm tropical climate with temperatures between 25 to 29 degrees Celsius on average. Both countries are rich in natural endowments, even sharing some like Lake Victoria and many others, but for a more favorable and less erratic climate, Uganda snatches the first point. Economy and Infrastructure As of 2021, according to the IMF, Tanzania's GDP was an estimated $71 billion, with an unemployment rate of up to 10.60%. From 2009 through 2013, Tanzania's per capita GDP grew an average of 3.5% per year, higher than any other member of the East African community, and exceeded by only nine countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. Poor world market integration might be seen as a disadvantage of any country, but that along with strong gold prices is what saved Tanzania's economy during the 2008-2009 Great Depression. Since the recession ended, the Tanzanian economy has expanded rapidly, thanks to strong tourism, telecommunications, and banking sectors. In 2020, the World Bank declared the rise of the Tanzanian economy from low-income to lower-middle-income country, with a GDP per capita estimated to be between $1,006 and $3,955, with economic growth of up to 5.6%. 
The Bank of Uganda is the central bank of Uganda and handles monetary policy along with the printing of Ugandan shillings. Uganda's economy is based on coffee, oil, base metals, fish, and more, which has led to consistent economic growth of up to 7%. Although agriculture accounted for 56% of the economy in 1986, the services sector is now the main contributor of GDP. The devastated economy of the Idi Amin regime, coupled with civil war, is now far in the past, even though economic growth has not always led to poverty reduction. An economy worth over $41 billion, the GDP per capita is just about $935 as of 2021, with unemployment rate of about 2.50%. The economies of both countries are at a rapid growth, but Tanzania, with a larger economic size coupled with a larger GDP per capita, enables it to grab this point. Standard of Living Tanzania has made some progress towards reducing extreme hunger and malnutrition. Children in rural areas suffer substantially higher rates of malnutrition and chronic hunger, although urban-rural disparities have narrowed as regards both stunting and underweight. Low rural sector productivity arises mainly from inadequate infrastructure investment, limited access to farm inputs, extension services and credit, limited technology, as well as trade and marketing support, and heavy dependence on rain-fed agriculture and natural resources. Approximately 68% of Tanzanians live below the poverty line of $1.25 a day. The 2019 World Bank report showed that, in the last 10 years, poverty has reduced by 8%, from 34.4% in 2007, to 26.4% in 2018. Reports show that 16% of children are underweight and 34% experience stunted growth as a result of malnutrition. As of 2021, life expectancy at birth is 65.77 years, while under 5 mortality rate is 50.3% per 1,000 live births with prematurity and malaria being the leading cause of death in children under 5 years. Uganda's elimination of user fees at state health facilities in 2001 has resulted in an 80% increase in visits, with over half of this increase coming from the poorest 20% of the population. This policy has been cited as a key factor in helping Uganda achieve its Millennium Development Goals and as an example of the importance of equity in achieving these goals. Despite this policy, poor communication within hospitals, low satisfaction with health services, and distance to health service providers still undermine the provision of quality health care to people living in Uganda, and particularly for those in poor and elderly-headed houses. Life expectancy at birth is estimated to be 63.71 years in 2021. An infant mortality rate is approximately 42.12 deaths per 1,000 children. Poverty is still a problem in Uganda, as it was estimated at 87.70% in 2016, where 21.4% of people live below the poverty line according to 2017 statistics. Although Tanzania has a higher life expectancy, with lower infant mortality and lower number of people living below the poverty line, Uganda takes this point home. Tourism Given both nations share some tourist sites and have similar tourist potentials, we will crown a winner in this category depending mostly on tourist influx and income. Travel and tourism contribute over 17.5% of Tanzania's GDP, employing over 11% of the country's labor force, and with tourist influx of over 1.2 million people, which brings in over $2.4 billion in revenue. The vast majority of tourists visit Zanzibar, or a northern circuit of Serengeti National Park, the Ngorongoro Conservation Area, Tarangiri National Park, Lake Manyara National Park, and Mount Kilimanjaro. Tourism in Uganda is focused on Uganda's landscape and wildlife, 
and is a major driver of employment, investment, and foreign exchange, contributing over $1.88 billion to Uganda's GDP. The main attractions are photo safaris through the national parks and game reserves, as well as the mountain gorillas found in the Mbwindi Impenetrable National Park and Mgahinga Gorilla National Park. Uganda, having some of the oldest cultural kingdoms in Africa, has many cultural sites too. Uganda is a birding paradise, boasting a massive bird list of more than 1,073 recorded bird species, ranking 4th in Africa's bird species and 16th internationally. Uganda has landscapes ranging from white cap to Renzori Mountains and the Great Rift Valley, which attracts many tourists worldwide. Making it so far with magnificent natural tourist attractions, Uganda is still not able to beat Tanzania's huge numbers, hence another point for Tanzania. Government and Politics Tanzania is a one-party dominant state with the Chama Chama Pinduzi party in power. From its formation in 1962 until 1992, it was the only legally permitted party in the country making it the longest-serving ruling party in Africa. People with albinism living in Tanzania are often attacked, killed, or mutilated because of superstitions related to the black magical practice known as muti, that say body parts of albinos have magical properties. Tanzania has the highest occurrence of this human rights violation among 27 African countries where muti is known to be practiced. In December 2019, Amnesty International reported that the Tanzanian government annulled the rights of NGOs, as well as individuals, to directly file any case against it at the Arusha-based African Court for Human and People's Rights. Uganda has an extensive list of people appointed by the president, who is both head of state and head of government, but that has not led to anything good according to statistics and the constant protest in the country. Transparency International has rated Uganda's public sector as one of the most corrupt in the world. Corruption in Uganda is a severe problem, and the country annually loses $286 million to corruption. Ugandan parliamentarians in 2014 earned 60 times what was earned by most state employees, which caused widespread criticism and protest, including the smuggling of two piglets into the parliament in June 2014 to highlight corruption amongst members of the parliament. The protesters who were arrested used the word mpigs to highlight their grievance. The Non-Governmental Organizations Act, passed in 2006, has stifled the productivity of NGOs through erecting barriers to entry, activity, funding, and assembly within the sector. Burdensome and corrupt registration procedures, unreasonable regulation of operations, and the precondition that all foreign funds be passed through the Bank of Uganda, among other things, are severely limiting the output of the NGO sector. Furthermore, the sector's freedom of speech has been continually infringed upon through the use of intimidation, and the recent public order management bill will only add to the government's stockpile of ammunition. Generally, there are many areas which continue to attract concern when it comes to human rights in Uganda, such as the conflict leading to internally displaced persons, estimated at 1.4 million, torture, attacks on political freedom, child labor, arrest and beating of opposition members of parliament. As much as Uganda could try, Tanzania has a better government, hence another point for Tanzania. Conclusion For this battle of the nations, five points were at stake. Uganda was able to conquer Tanzania for the criteria of geography and standard of living, but two points were not able to beat Tanzania, who backed home three points for its economy, tourism, and government. Hence, Tanzania is the better country for this battle. But remember that the better country depends on the primary reason for visiting the country, as well as what you will be doing there. For battles between African nations, visit the channel, as there are many more to enjoy. 
there you have it the explorers thanks for watching this video and if you did enjoy this video do all to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends